turn 22. So it didn't go as expected for my throne. I uh, lost it. So he entered my domain and started the battle. Didn't see the replay yet, so we are going to see it at the same time. And I killed uh, his lower level rogue, his elite raptor and his tiger, but he kept four units, so as, as I expected, he, he cast a phantasm warrior. And he leveled up with one phantasm warrior, and I think with his rogue also. So soon it will have Tireless and an additional shock protection, which is quite bad for me. So let's have a look at the replay. So now it means I don't have a throne and uh, as you probably know from watching my video I tend to lose my leader often. <laughs> so uh, I must be careful because if I lose my leader again I lose the game even if I, I'm actually wi winning now because I took his throne and Got only lo lost only one unit. He took mine, but lost three units, and he's left with only he's left with only um, his hero, his leader, and uh, it seems he has three phantas. Oh no, two phantas warrior pl at tw twelve each upkeep. And uh, one wisp. So that's that's all the units he has, as far as I know. And maybe two more that he recruited at any at some point, but that would disappear. But maybe they got killed by by some Romus. Just like my settler got killed by Romus. I don't know if I showed that on video or not. But the the settler I sent west got killed by Romus. Hmm. He took skin of oil from fire adept, so he's doing some additional damage to my necromancer. And uh, where is skin? Where is Stephen Limb? I, I didn't pay attention. I was talking too much. The warg the bouncer was here. Him got Stephen Limb, then he didn't try to dispel it. Interesting. Not really useful to uh, cast Stephen Lim on a unit which is already there. And uh, just kill my my flamer. So that's po the, the moment where I hoped one of my flamer would move and block the, the entrance. And then thanks to regrowth I would gain some time. We'll see what happened. Doing some nice damage on the on the on the rogue, lower level rogue, but not killing him this turn. So I uh, raised the cadaver as planned. That's why I took raised cadaver on my necro. But the crusher uh, got badly damaged actually, so regress won't work. Ah, uh, but it does. I oh know it's another. He casts skin of oil on another crusher. It seems. So my my necro and one crusher now has skin of oil. Ah oh shit! And he broke the wall and kill my necro. Kill my necro. Yeah, so that's why I, I lost because he was able to break the the gate because he used uh, the aid, the rogue to uh, kill the crusher and then was able to enter. Yeah, hatchling blocking the cadaver, nice. Kill the rogue. Yeah, Regross is, is not going to be very useful in this fight. Regross is nice on RG2, but actually not very useful most of the time because this T1 did just don't get enough HP, so they get killed in one round.
taking heavy damage from skin of oil. Yeah, at least one ring rust used during the fight. Raptor dead and still blocking the cadaver. Thank you, Hashling. So the necro was quite useless during all this fight. I think he only raised the cadaver, which didn't was not useful at all. And then it got killed. Yeah, taking big, big damage. With skin of oil. Yep, and now I'm left with two units and the hatchling. Oh, he's not blocking the cadaver anymore. Nice. I was going to say he's going to block the cadaver, but no. Okay. So now he has five units at my throne and I've got only two units here. So nothing much I can do. Um, I'm moving to complete the quests and then I'll come back. So he might, he might take this. Actually I might want to uh, release. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reasons as well. Let's do this. If he doesn't take it in two turns, I can save it as a vassal. I should have done that earlier, actually. So I cast a wisp not here because it would not make a big difference. Five versus two or five versus three, but here to reinforce my army, go clear this. But actually, <laughs> actually, I cannot clear this. I didn't see uh, there was. There were two sphinxes, no way I can beat this. I can go clear this and get one more unit. And then move uh, there to complete the quests. And and get the free ogre and then move back. Confront him. And uh, here in three turns I, I will be able to ask for uh, a tribute without losing income for four turns because then uh, I lose uh, plus 400 from release Tia's Vassal. So that's the plan here and um, and I could buy this one. I don't have enough gold actually. I could buy this one uh, to make my put my throne here but I don't know. Anyway, even if I had the gold, would not want to do that now because it's not defended. So uh, I'm waiting to go through here and, and leave a unit behind to defend it. I'm probably going to try the uh, dungeon next turn with these units and especially the champion two champion one wisp, uh, which can be healed repeatedly by by the the apprentice. So if I'm lucky, most of the damage from the uh, battle enchantment. Um, we'll go on the wisp and then I can heal it and it's good. Uh, and so I left three units behind including one doing uh, blight damage so that if he comes with some wisp or stuff I can kill them. Um, then, so this grows down, nice. So then yeah, I'm going to go here, clear this get some experience, get some item stuff and then move back all the way to, to my throne but it's going to take some turns to, to do all the way all the way back. Uh, I finished researching magical structure so I've got some additional mana but actually oh yeah that's bad actually because I get no income from here when I'm releasing so I lost something like 30 mana from, from this city. Uh, but still, if I ma can manage to release it, it would be uh, a good 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 move. Uh, and I think in two turns it's possible because it's not that likely that you will try to get outside and attack me. I think it's going to stay four turns to release. That would be a wiser option from him. And... Uh, what building does you have? Oh. So yeah, I know in terms of research I'm going for 
Phantasmorior uh, because he does have Phantasmorior and so now I need to upgrade from Wisps and School of Teleportation would not be very useful uh, in the short term and Voluntary Union would be useful now but not in the not in six turns if I add it now I could just um, absorb instead of releasing as Vassal and it would take two turns instead of four turns for, for Vassal and eventually in the underground I'm moving to find some stuff but I haven't found anything yet so it was again a no fight turn but next turn should have some fights uh, I hope I can play the the dungeon safe but if not I, I, I plan just to retreat thanks for watching see you next time